Hey everyone! So this is a video that I decided to do on my Instagram and my stories on my personal page and a military spouse page that I'm an admin for. I decided to ask y'all questions and we'll have y'all ask me questions and answer any of the ones that y'all come up with. So this is my video about that. So let's go ahead and dive into the fun. So one of the ones that I was asked is if I had any tips, tricks, or information about trying to get pregnant. Um, my biggest tip and advice about that is once you and your spouse, significant other, whatever, um, decide that y'all want to have a baby, the biggest thing is to not try to have a baby. <laughs> what I mean by that is once y'all make that decision, because it's a very big decision, is to not put so much pressure on yourselves and like, oh, I'm ovulating, we have to have sex like two days for the next like three days as much as we can, blah, blah, blah. That is so stressful. Like, honestly, if y'all want to have a family, then go ahead and just let it happen. I do agree, like, let's say that you're on some type or a form of birth control, whatever. Like, obviously, you need to get off of that. <laughs> Um, your doctor can give you a window of like how long that normally takes for my particular body. That's the one important thing you need to listen to is listen to your body. For me, every time that we've, um, gotten pregnant, it was on like the first try, no matter whether I've been on birth control for like five years or whether it's only been like a few months, whatever. Well, we've never only had it a few months in between. Anyway. Point is, is yes, your doctor can give you an estimate of how long like that'll continue to stay in your system, but just know that that's not a guarantee. For example, when we decided that we were gonna have our first child, when we were gonna have Devin, the first time, like I stopped taking my birth control, the first time that we had sex, there she was, pregnant instantly. Like it just happened. With the twins, it was the exact same thing with um Giselle the exact same thing so you also have to pay attention to your body as well like you can miss one dose and then end up being pregnant or for some people they have to wait till it gets entirely out of their system so do not rush it do not put a time restraint on yourself and just have fun enjoy the intimacy with your partner that way it's fun for both of y'all honestly and a baby will come if you do suspect that something is going on that maybe our one of you or both of you is having like an issue with that then i would definitely go and get the um test and seek further information from a medical professional but just based off of me and what i've gone through in my experiences just have fun and let it happen when it happens. That'll be a wonderful surprise. So, I hope good luck. Yay, babies. <laughs> um, another one I was asked was, um, when did you find out the sex of the baby? Was it early or was it late? I found out at our 17th, like 17 week ultrasound. And I had known for a few weeks before I put it on Instagram and on YouTube. So I knew like a long, long time before that because before we even got pregnant, I told my husband that I had a dream that we were gonna get pregnant, the boys were gonna be two, the baby was gonna be born and that the baby was gonna be a girl. And he's just like, that's insane. We're not having any babies right now, blah, blah, blah. Yet, here we are. <laughs> and sure enough, it was a girl. Um, I could just tell, honestly, between that and then also my symptoms were different when i was pregnant with devin it was completely different than when i was pregnant with the twins the foods i was craving were different my scale of like mood swings and emotions were different so it was kind of just like obvious for me that hey we're definitely having a girl so i found out at 17 weeks and then i let everybody else know obviously after that um so yeah that is like relatively early because normally at like 20 weeks is when you're like for sure finding out what you're having. What was another one? Um, 
do I have any baby products that I recommend? I had to look on my list. So I personally like the um, Baby Dove like product line. I like that. I like the Essie Johnson product line, especially like the, um, I actually use this on myself too. <clears throat> it's like the Johnson's Baby Oil Gel. So it's baby oil, but it's literally like in a gel form. I use this for my skin and I also love using it on the kids. I also prefer to use like, when they're a little bit older, I use like oils more than lotions because oils are more natural, they're more hydrating, all of that kind of thing. But yeah, so I love both of those. Um, one of my tips is you don't have to get a whole bunch of expensive things to get like great stuff for your baby. For example, like I know people stick to like Carter's and Ocash Be Gosh and like all of these certain brands of stuff. I don't necessarily believe in that. If I'm like in Dollar General and I see like this cute little dress or little onesie or whatever, I think that it's adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it for my baby. And the ones like that are the ones that I get a lot of questions about because you don't really see them very often because so many people are going to Carter's, Okash oh Bigosh, um, you can't say Jimbury anymore because they're not around. Old Navy, I absolutely love their kids stuff too. But look for hidden treasures in the unexpected places because chances are they're going to be a little bit cheaper and then also they're still cute. And another thing, consignment stores are your best friend. I used to like never want to put my babies in consignment thing because I'm like somebody else use that and now that I'm like older and on my fourth kid I'm like I love consignment stores because they're cheaper you have great deals they're super cute clothes and you can get baby gear you can get toys you can get books you can get all kinds of stuff and you can buy stuff that's still new from there too so consignment stores amazing i go shopping for my kids there on a regular basis and you would have no idea that i didn't go into a retail store and buy it because honestly no one's gonna know when it's on your kid they're just like oh that baby looks so cute they're not gonna be like oh i wonder what brand of clothing that is how much did they pay for this no nobody cares as long as it's cute and it works for your kid save some money because trust me you're gonna use it later on use it on diapers use it on wipes formula, whatever, because they're going to outgrow them very quickly. You're going to have blowouts. You're going to have to wash all of that kind of stuff. So you might as well save some money on it while you can. Um, what was another one is, oh yeah. Are we going to have any more kids? No, no, no. <laughs> this is our absolute last child. I'm actually, um, getting my tubes tied and January when giving birth to Giselle. Another question I had was, um, are you having a C-section or are you doing vaginal birth? I, my doctor talked to me, I have, Devin was a vaginal, the boys were a C-section because Michael was breached. And if we didn't go with the C-section, we would have lost him. So obviously that was a no-brainer. I did a C-section then. Normally I've heard like the rumor that goes around. I don't know how true it is, how true it isn't. For my personal case, when I talked to my doctor about it, I had the choice of doing a vaginal birth or doing a C-section. She says that your body is healthy. There's no reason why you can't do either or. It's really my personal preference. So since I'm choosing to get my tubes tied because Vernon and I have discussed it numerous times, we do not want any more kids that um, I'm going to go ahead and do a C-section. That way they can do that procedure at the same time. If I was going to do a vaginal birth, then, <clears throat> excuse me, then I would have to, it would be considered elective. So I would have to come back at a later date and go ahead and get that procedure done. But yeah, so those are, oh, another one that I have. What is her full name? It's Giselle Ryan Thomas. And, um, they also asked about the other kids. Uh-oh, I'm being paged. So it's Devin Liani Thomas is our oldest. She is six. Um, we have the twins. The oldest twin is Micah um, Aiden Thomas, who's older by a minute. Levi Asher Thomas, which is the last twin, obviously. And then this baby's going to be Giselle Ryan. 
So, yay! Those are like, I had a lot of repeat questions, but those are the main ones that I got. So, yay! I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in our next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Mwah. Bye!